Okay, once you log into the back end of your online order page, the first thing you want to do is click on Clover Orders here, then click on Settings, and then the first thing you want to do is click on View Your Address. Uh, in most cases, you'll be you'll be showing your address, but if you don't see it, click on this button here. Just confirm the address is correct. So here's how you can tell. Uh, what you would do is you would look at the address here. Cincinnati, Ohio, and then make sure this pointer is also on that specific location. If it's not, uh, move it to the actual location. So in this case, it's not, so we're going to move it to the right location. So we're going to zoom out. I'll press it about five times. So right now it's all the way in New York. So we'll move it to Ohio. Scroll down as much as you can until you see Ohio uh, or, the, or wherever your business is located. And move it to that location. Let's see, uh, Ohio, where's Ohio? Ohio's right here. Okay, I'm going to move it here for now um, because you, it will need to be placed exactly on the location. To do that, you would just kind of zoom in, zoom in until you get it right. So you zoom in, move, put it there, zoom in, you know, keep doing that until you get it right on the location. So I'm going to put it right ab above Columbus for now, uh, and then we'll work on that later. Uh, or, or what you can do is when you get this uh, video, as you're watching it, just, just uh, move it to the right location. Okay, I'm going to press Save Changes now. Okay, let's go ahead and go to um, the settings here. So you would, what you would do is you would go to store interface and choose the interface you like. Uh, store interface for it, it will, looks really good for this location. Um, so I, this is the one I chose, but you can change it if you like. Categories and items, go through here and hide all the stuff you don't want to sell online. Let's say you don't want to sell alcohol, wine, just go like that. Make it, make it uh, invisible, okay? So uh, next step would be to go to categories and items. Um, there's order types. I, you can you can always uh, check this out if you want to make sure the order types are correct. If you're doing delivery, uh, you can you can just leave it the way it is. If you're not doing delivery, then make sure this green is grayed out. So you, what you would do is you click on edit and hide delivery. But right now, since we're doing delivery and pickup, we're going to leave both of those enabled. And then go to modifier groups. And uh, if you if you don't want to offer your online ordering customers you know burger add-ons, you can disable that. Uh, let's say you are offering them burger add-ons, then what you would do is you press this button here, but you don't want to offer them Swiss, then you can turn that off. Or you don't want to offer them cheddar, you can turn that off. Okay, in this case, I'm going to leave everything uh, enabled. So far, what I've done so far is I've, I've hit um, some of the alcohol beverages, but go through here and hide all the other ones that you're not offering online ordering to your customers um, and make sure they're invisible. Now, let's say you, you have a bestseller that is uh, sandwiches, you can move that to the top, or you can move, uh, and then you can move appetizer second. You can rearrange it. You can also rearrange the items within the category. So let's say you want your 100 wings to be at the top, you can put it like that. Or you can put your 25 wings at the top, um, and then size of sauces, you can reorder the items. So how do you reorder the items? You go to the category, and press the plus sign here. Okay, let's go to the modifier groups again. If you scroll to the very bottom, there's some additional settings. It tells you how you want the modifier groups to be displayed for store interface 4. So if you don't have store interface 4, you don't have to worry about these options. You can have it pop up or you can have it show underneath each item name. Um, so you can decide which one uh, you want to do for that. But let me show you what the website actually looks like because I don't think you've seen it yet. Uh, let me scroll down here. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is your order online page. So here's what I mean by the pop-up. So if I click on this button here, I get a pop-up. See, I get to choose like this. But if I don't, if I don't want a pop-up, we we'll do this one underneath each item. So I press save changes. Give it a few seconds. And then once you save it, refresh the page. Click on this button here. And then watch, see now this time, instead of a pop-up, it shows it underneath. So that's, that's just a subtle change you can do. So I'm going to leave it back to the way it was. I'm just showing that to you so you can get an idea of the changes you can make. I'm going to go back and leave it as a pop-up. Pop-up looks nicer to me. Okay, pop-up is enabled. And you can you can do these settings too if you like. A lot of customers to choose quantity. So what does quantity mean? Let me just uh, mention that briefly to you. 
Uh, okay, allow customer to choose modifier quantity for all modifiers. What is quantity? Here's what quantity is right here. When I click on this, I can choose how many bacon. Uh, I can choose how much turkey. If you don't want your customers to be able to increase the number, then you can turn that off. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the other settings here. Let's go to checkout settings. Special instructions enabled. People can leave uh, notes there, uh, like extra napkins or water or extra extra tomatoes or something like that. They can able, they can add that information there. Let me let me show you how that looks like. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add this to my cart here. Check out. Okay, I see this is special instructions. I can hide that by just clicking on disabled. But I'm gonna leave it enabled for now. Uh, thank you page, leave this uh, default unless you do have a thank you page. If you do have one, make sure to include HTTP with it as a URL name. Okay, let's go to store settings next. Oh yeah, by the way, here's tips. I have that enabled for you. Your store settings. Um, uh, your email, where you'll get your email notifications when orders are placed. It also prints out, of course. But you can also get an email. You can put your cell phone number here. Track stock, you probably won't need this. It's good for retail, not restaurants. Most restaurants don't keep track of stock of how much... Uh, you know, restaurant food they sold. Business hours. Um, this will only work if you have your business hours set up in Clover. So the way to tell if you have your business hours set up in Clover is by going to clover.com, go to the setup app and click on business information. Or you can just click on here and you can find out. So right now you have every day is closed. So make sure to add your days on clover.com. Once you do, this won't say closed. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and allow your customers to schedule their orders. Uh, but make sure to um, go to clover.com too so they can uh, schedule orders around your business hours. If you don't have your business hours set up, then they can't schedule their orders. I'm going to enable that for you. And once you add your business hours to Clover, then, then they will just choose their hours. Uh, what does this mean? How many minutes, uh, minimum time can your customers, I mean, how much a minimum time do you need for your customers to order? 20 minutes. So if, if it's 1 o'clock, they have to choose the minimum time of 120. And four days in the future, what does that mean? That means I can order on Monday and order on a Monday and order up until Thursday. So I can say Monday, I can choose Thursday um, and pick it up on a Thursday. I'll allow customers to choose ASAP uh, if you want, you can do that. But if you want to keep it as a 20 minimum, you can leave that also. Okay, delivery, 60 minutes delivery minimum time. You can change that if you like. These are all default numbers. Let's go ahead and press save changes here. Okay, let's go to delivery areas. This is a important setting here. If you are doing delivery, uh, since we uh, since we don't have the correct uh, address here at the moment, I'm just gonna kind of give you a demo of how to give you an example of how to set up your delivery uh, zones. Uh, but remember, once you uh, your uh, this pointer is based on your this location here. So once you put this at the correct location. Or if it already is the correct location, you don't have to worry about it. But if it's not, make sure to move this to the right location first. And when you do that, your your um, your delivery area will also be at the right location. Like this pointer will be wherever you saved it over here. So right now it's over here, but we're just going to work with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do a delivery zone. I'm going to say zone 1. Uh, we're going to do a circle. Actually, we're going to do, let's do a circle first so you can see how that looks. I'm going to do a 10 mile radius, $3 delivery fee. Sorry, minimum order. Uh, let's do a $10 minimum order. Delivery fee, 3 bucks. So dollar value or percentage of subtotal. So if I do um, dollar, it'll charge them $3. If I do percentage of subtotal, I could do uh, 10%. If they order $100, they'll charge them $10. If they order $200, it'll charge them $20. But in this case, I'm going to do a $3 flat delivery fee. Uh, based on anybody that orders within this zone. So anybody that orders within this zone will get charged three bucks. If you want them to get charged higher, just change this number. If you want them to get charged a percentage, just select percentage, select 20%, 10%, 5% of the order total, and it will be get charged that amount, percent of subtotal. But in this scenario, I'm gonna do 3%, I mean, I'm gonna do $3. Okay, let's say your delivery is kind of, uh, uh, more specific than just a circle. You only deliver um, specific areas. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete the zone here. 
actually I'm gonna click on cancel here, delete select the zone. We're gonna do a shape. Instead of a circle, I'm gonna do a shape. Let's say you only deliver to specific locations or uh, or the majority of majority of the homes in your area, but you don't deliver to a specific uh, intersection or specific area because it's too crowded, too much traffic, or um, or any other reason that you don't deliver there. Here's what you would do: you would make a shape. Click on shape. Click on draw zone. Okay, and then press the button one time, your mouse, and then connect the dots. So let's say I I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I deliver to here, 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 and when you connect it to the to the uh, to the, the original one where you started from it'll make a it'll make a shape like this so in this shape my delivery fee is three bucks I'm gonna say valid select the zone so there's my three dollar delivery fee and that's saved so you have to do this multiple times if you're if you're kind of delivering around this area you'll have to do that uh, multiple times so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that one. actually let me just delete this and uh, start over again I'm gonna click on edit here I'm gonna show you a little bit easier, a little bit. I should have. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently this time. I'm gonna click on shape. Okay, I'm gonna start here. Oops. Make sure to press draw zone. Oh yeah, you can choose a color too. Let's choose. Uh, let's choose yellow. Sorry. Choose this color right here, and I'm gonna draw zone with the yellow. So here's what you do. Let's say you you um, you uh, okay. Actually, let me change the yellow. It's kind of hard to see yellow. Let me go back here and delete select the zone. Okay, let's try a different color here. Uh, let me put zone one again. Shape. I'm in a mortar. Ten bucks. Three dollar delivery fee. Select color. I'm gonna choose a bright color this time because I was I could not see that color. I'm gonna do blue here. Let's go a little bit darker. Okay. So this time I'm gonna show you how to draw a shape. The yellow's still there, but just ignore that for now. Okay. I'm gonna draw a shape. I'm gonna go around Columbus here. And then let's say I don't I don't. It's not a complete circle, but I'm gonna ignore some areas here so I can go like that. And then uh, go like that, and then see how I can see how I skip this area here. This yellow is still here anyhow. So I can do a three dollar delivery uh, fee for this blue area, which will cover this entire territory here. Just ignore this yellow color. This was from the last one. I made a mistake. Um, but anyhow, so this is the blue area. Uh, I'm charging three dollar delivery fee. But in, if somebody orders from this area, it won't it won't deliver to them because it only uh, Will allow customers to order from this area. Okay, so that's kind of a brief um, tutorial on how to set up your delivery areas. Uh, remember, if you're if you're not delivering to a lot of a lot of a lot of locations around your area, you may have to draw this several times in different colors and just exclude those territories. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, you can always email us or call me. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great day.